If he Yo, what's up? Yo, Mitch, can you make maybe it maybe on this patch? Um, uh, if if ha had he been able. All right, we back today for another stream, uh, another fun idea. Um, doing the proxy thing. Got some because league. There are, there some are Mitch Jones hardcore. So maybe if he could have gotten shadow came, it would have been. And we're gonna queue up some YouTube play. videos while we play. Let's find a good entry tournament. Today is the 26th. <laughs> what is this? People are gonna click the stream, but like, the fuck is going on here, man? Holy shit! <sighs> Damn, I'm fucking this mooking up, guys. Starts in 35 minutes. Got him. Nice. Dun, dun, dun. Bro, why am I upside down? We're just browsing Summoner's Rift. Woo! Joe, can you browse the sides of Summoner's Rift? Let's just go fifty dollar like, turbo like just to get warmed up. The 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 giant. I don't know, you know how I, mean? I flipped the camera back. Yeah, over there. Yeah. Yeah. Can you go down or no? It's not like Wait, I just got some pants, you. guys. Strength and agility oh my pants. God. Oh not my bad. god. We're under Summoner's Rift. Wait, what the hell is under Michael here? Michael Kaiser what? is going to throw I've this match into here. disarray. And I Wait, assure you, going? score a goal in these next Joe, two to three chapters. Yo, where are you Yo, what's going on, everybody? Go? I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. <laughs> My name is Anamasu, and in today's video, to we're going to be theorizing about oh, Kaiser's awakening in this match. And why I think that it's bound to happen. Just like a wise man in my Discord once said, All right. which you should join, by the way. Link okay, in bio. Okay, we're here in game number Kaiser two doing between some off team lining. BYS Anyways, versus I know you guys are eager Zay. to see the video, but just before that, if you guys enjoy this uh, content that I've been putting out, I want to support what? my channel and make sure that you're seeing oh, more gross. of this. Make sure that you especially hit that subscribe right. button, comment on my videos, team Zay. like them, team and even Zay. join my Discord okay. to interact with me and How the rest of my sir? community. I'm doing good, guys. Now, Kaiser, I guess. Like, you guys have a good Friday. You got a good video. Now, the first thing that I think that we should right. bring up when we're talking about Kaiser's Ezreal role in this Conqueror. match is chapter 203, really which takes place seconds after Yukimiya's sword through goal. Just, uh, this one bastard the, moves the, in the, the match 3-2 against Manshine City, and due to Berlin Kaiser's superior physicality PA. and experience, um, Isiki couldn't score the goal himself. This led him to just instead Oh, I almost swapped a straight. Giving a super assist to the game-winning goal. Although this video is specifically about Kaiser's awakening, Isiki's assist here cannot be overlooked, because it literally causes Ness to have another Wait, mental breakdown. This might be good. I mean, this guy seriously needs to do this some yoga or learn Why some breathing Brock techniques. Because I think harvest? the game is getting a little too much to his head. Well, anyways, oh, my reason for doing this scenario is this actually what comes after here. Like Michael Kaiser completely oh, shuts down Ness's heavens. temper tantrum with a strong hand oh, to the head, to then actually oh, compliment Isigi by calling his play oh. impressive. Oh. Let's he then tells go. Isiki that for a split yeah, second, so it's only that, he saw further into the future than Kaiser, making this match Yoichi's little win. Kaiser then goes on to remind Isiki, and apparently some of you need this reminder as well, that he had Noel Noah, the world's number one striker, backing him up there. Even with this, he only managed to temporarily surpass Kaiser there, with an assist, mind you, not even a goal. Which leads into what Kaiser course. actually says next here. Maybe not, next maybe time, not, maybe we'll fight without cool. Noah backing Opening either one of us up. For both strikers. Let's now see who scores know. the most well, goals you'll okay. so achieve. Great, great the first thing I want to mention with this is Kaiser is saying that Noah won't back either of them up Lying next game, implying that he may actually not see the star train system take place within the Uber's match. It's more likely that he's implying that Noah will simply play for his own goals, rather than assisting Kaiser or Yoichi again. But I also have the slight suspicion that Snuffy won't sub them to this match either. We can talk about no hearts in my hand. Anyways, Look, with this statement now. from Kaiser, Look. he's essentially challenged Isigi into a goal scoring competition the for their upcoming Ubers map. Flashing forward to the current chapters now, though, we you know that Isigi is currently winning this challenge of Kaiser, but his lefty shot that led the match with its first point. The last goal may have been super impressive from Isigi, it's really no fault of Kaiser that it happened, though. He hit a 10 on the river. This leads me into talking about chapter 218 as well. It is full of more reasons to believe that we're going to see a Kaiser goal in these upcoming chapters. But Lorenzo, like I said, releasing poor Lorenzo, agile prison warden, our blue tip wannabe main character is getting pretty worked up. Kaiser even says that Lorenzo has gotten even stronger since the last time they faced off, which is making it all the more restricting on his range of movement. 
So it's gonna be with the new Gen 11 Defender marking it's Kaiser, crab, crab it's obvious August. that Isiki's going to have a much easier time scoring, but that does not mean Kaiser won't score right this game. With Ness once again having a mental breakdown within the moments of a crucial situation, Kaiser basically just denounces his dick rider for the first time ever, Find the war. He tells Ness to just move like he's cold with nothing more being needed, because for Kaiser, nothing at all is impossible. As he's saying this, Kaiser's Yo, eye even has aura room. radiating out from it, just for him to go mostly ghost throughout all of chapter 219. Right here, I mean, what does this guy think he is? Any phantom? No, so I say now, mostly <laughs> because we actually so do see August, one single do glimpse of Kaiser here, Golems, who's running up the field toward Golems, Lorenzo, to Golems, far right of Kunigami's yep, little push. Golems, okay. While all of this is going on, Izuki is also in the predicament of being locked down by Aku. Which I think is another topic that's pretty interesting right now. Okay. Yukimiya okay. then appears right out to the right of Isigi, calling out that he will assist okay. him as he urges him to pass the ball. For the sake of this video, I do believe that Isigi will indeed choose to pass to Yukimiya, more than likely just to use him. So I'll cog him on the button. Specifically. With Kaiser making a full sprint towards Lorenzo, and the only glimpse we see of him in 219, especially after announcing that nothing is impossible for him in 218, I surely right. believe that he's gonna now go Gronk huge here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I am betting all dirt. my money into the Kaiser Ari stock market. Probably yeah. breaking free of the Kaiser's now, gonna now, either Graves manage to get the right ball now. off of Isiki's unfortunate little situation little here, Charm or from a pass to Yuki Mita. An ace, I'm ahead. A queen, I'm second best. A jack, I have best. Now, you may be saying, but, but Lorenzo has him on play. Yeah, yeah, that's not what I want to see. But just keep in mind that there's a reason for both of them being new Gen 11 members. Once again, another huge huge moment oh. backing up a Kaiser Awakening can be found in chapter 207, with Kaiser having a conversation with his maid Bali, about Isigi's interesting on, existence. Ash, According to Kaiser, here, he's crushed all of the and, players that uh, have dared okay. to stand in his way. All of them the except for Isigi now, also, Yoichi. And only that he surpasses expectations with that final assist, more than anything, Isigi still dares to defy the king of bastard Munchen, the absolute talent that is Michael Kaiser. As but, Kaiser um, says here, he's shown Leo Easy to make a difference in their strength, happen, broken him so now, many times, but yet he just keeps getting up Versus like some sort of shonen in MC. Really we also learn here in chapter 207 that Kaiser's real motive for being in the new Egoist no League is to prove that he's no L no is equal by playing alongside of him. Either that, or that Kaiser will use the NEL auction system to earn an even bigger offer, allowing him to then leave back to Munchen. With Easy presenting not only a rival to Kaiser, but raking in all of the attention throughout the entire the new Egoist League, Kaiser well. could skyrocket so his brand through the atmosphere if he could just only Monty crush ECG. Since this very, is a theory video after all, disaster. let's get into the nitty gritty involving what I think will happen in Kaiser's like Awakening. As we mentioned before, system. I do believe that ECG is going to be forced to pass here. With Kaiser's last appearance in 219 being him sprinting full speed towards Lorenzo, it's very likely that he's soon going to break free from him and use his genius movement to gain possession. With the ball, it's likely and something that I really hope that we get to see a new Gen 11 duel between Michael Kaiser and Don Lorenzo, both offense and defense of the new gen. With Kaiser probably being the victor of this duel, no other defender on the field will really pose a threat to him, leading me to believe that he will then score his equalizing goal with ECG. Now, since this is his like awakening so moment in the Neo Egoist League, I actually Whoa, am expecting to see a different shot missed. variation from oh, Kaiser Impact. Really, really Maybe close. even another cool oh, ability life. that's unique to him. I obviously don't want to be too overpowered and an damage. untouchable goal for ECG, but, but I do think that another Kaiser oh, Impact would be too repetitive, especially for a player of Michael Kaiser's caliber. You guys let me know in the comments, what is your prediction for the shot type? If this theory do, does end up coming lane, true, I'm thinking that maybe we get to see a bit a of text of from Kaiser himself with maybe a lob over the goalkeeper's head, or just anything in the street. Of disrespectful yeah. ass yeah. Yeah. Overall, though, the thing that I want to see most from Kaiser's awakening is his aura representation. Everybody else has giant snakes, lions, planets for God's sake, like the entire solar system, representing their ego and their enhanced moments. For Kaiser, I'm hoping we see something like blue rose petals flying out from all around him, or maybe even a crown of his aura wow. sitting atop the king's Almost head. I just really Maybe want his moment here left. to be flashy three. and befitting of his character, three considering that he two. is the NEL's oh, most expensive player. As always, very these well are just done. my very theories well and my no, opinions, so if you guys think any different from me and you just want to share with right me your now, opinions, make sure to go into the comments oh, right yes. now and let oh, me know. Thank you all so much for the recent support, thank you for tuning into my channel, and I hope you have an amazing day. Fuck off. 400 gold lead right so now. Hold it inside of your two.
Do you look fresh as fuck with those gloves? Frog is still just sitting there on the alternator. Uh, oh, Graves can do quite a bit of damage. Got the heat. Ah! Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> dude, he pushed me off. Don't panic, don't panic. I'm panicking, dude. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, strength is huge. Oh, I'm not managing to achieve. No, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, that, that was the last guy. <laughs> really good nice fight yeah. about to transpire. Uh, Drew 2 is the here. He's going to reset. He's very big. He didn't kill him. That's amazing. Oh, oh, my orange is missing. Alright, last guy, last guy. Last guy, last guy. Everyone in this corner was missing. I'm going to begin. Okay, okay. Okay. He's coming behind me, Sizing. He's picking up that Rift Herald. I'll smoke mm. it. Score is still <laughs> totally even. Kill score. Not really right. all that different. Four Take some damage. Over, totally I lost my uh, <laughs> If it was 1v1 against that guy, I might have just um, bluffed all in, but... Don't come to your left side. Don't come to your right side. I didn't know what I was talking about, bro. The only way to win this game is to actually win. Very, very, very surprised. Actually. Pussy. I got him a couple times. I just wanted to think. I heard you two sparks. Yeah. <laughs> I was stuck on something. I literally couldn't move forward or decide or anything. All right. What if we make one big ball over here on my head? Like we get every. And if we lose, fuck it. But let's give it our best. And then Joel, you be our rogue ball. All right. Everyone, be quiet. We heard you two go. Is someone gonna scalp this? Dude, there's a lot nope, of they're all right now, they're all just uh <laughs> limping in. Yo! in mid lane, I got nothing. Ludens on is not gonna be the Oh, find me somewhere. Plate. Could actually go get it on me. He might be right, it must be last guy. Oh, I would, uh, he might be Where the fuck this dude at, bro? Where? Um, I had a straight, I had a flush draw, but... Oh my god. Wysik or whatever, this Gragas guy. He's building Night Troller on Gragas too, isn't he? He is. He's building Night Harvester. I can't, man. He has zero Dark Harvest stacks. He has zero Dark Harvest stacks. He's building Night yeah, Harvest. Go get, get him off control. my screen! <laughs> my God, go! I do have one. I have one in mind. What do they do? They talk about it every time. It was a podcast specifically about the Roman Empire. So yes, they talked about the, the Roman, Roman Empire. Empire. Like they updated the Warriors oh. series or something. Oh, so. going to be oh that's a spicy flop and draw. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my God! I can't. Queen time oh king king. <laughs> he thought he had the queen blocker, but he really didn't. Oh my lord. That's oh my so unlucky. Oh, he's dabbing, he's dabbing. All right. Inside you're muted, right. I need one more good hand to play on. Oh, I my mouse so hard, right I muted it, dude. Uh, <laughs> and, dude, oh. dripping hard on 5v4, bro. Okay. <laughs> I got one more in me, boys. So I'll be honest. All right. Nice little steal yeah, attempt there by Zyre. Oh, very <laughs> close. Oh! Woo! Karma! Oh, <laughs> RW. I gotta see what happens. Right, guys? Well done. <laughs> see if there's anything new. Okay. Oh! Bro. Oh! 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 Really? Oh! Or an art? Joel scuffs it! Soiled it! And oh, Karma oh. doesn't manage to get the heal! Drew 2 is coming in what? on the left hand side! He's looking for it! Can he get onto Seraphine? He does get the stun! Can he get the ultimate off? The flash goes out! Milio is bullshit, but Drew 2 is looking for blood! Drew 2 will manage! To help his team get a oh, kill, Gragas ends up getting quite a bit there. Four Dark Seal stacks. Let's take a look at how this all transpired one more time. 
He's so, a billionaire. Karma, but, 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 coming over here, Robson tries to come in, tries to get this kill onto Karma. He's <laughs> looking for it, trying to get her into lethal That's range. That's not good. quite able to do it. Karma's RW, giving her a little bit of heal power. Gragas goes for the body <laughs> slam. Nice flash there by Robson, but a nice R cast, <laughs> pinning him right into the tree. Emilio <laughs> tries to do his best okay, to I'm lock them up. The Seraphine are not the enough the there. There's Goal is on the up onto Karma. Yeah, now they're going to heal up again. Ash doesn't have the ultimate available. <laughs> Drucha comes in section. over yeah. the wall. What is that? And then Zion oh. flashes away. Doesn't want to give Fiora the grand the challenge. Give the healing away. Everyone <laughs> full on retreat at this point. But there's no yeah, answer from Fiora because no one has the sustained run, damage bro. because Graves and Ash are down. Queen 2 suited. Drew 2 now. Pretty weak. Ravenous Hydra. Call it 34 stacks. Has the Sheen picked up as well. Top of the lock. That's monster touch. <laughs> Brings his team back like, into fuck, the, the game. And that was just there on a rotato. Teleport yeah, is going to be available. They also now, get bro. themselves the Infernal Dragon <laughs> off of that. And also, <laughs> to Team GIS's credit, <laughs> they roll a pretty good dragon for themselves. It is the Cloud Dragon. 910 suited is pretty good. On the button is even better. It's pretty good. So now, one could argue that it's bad for uh, yeah. GIS and that they are a split push. I'm holding control. W. I'm holding so, w. Any extra mobility oh, for teams <laughs> is kind of bad because they are in a position. So being able to like dang, that that's, to do. that's not good. That's good. Is something that could be seen as a little bit bad. Pog. Oh, they're smoking. They're firing it. Hey, I'm gonna fire back. Watch out! Watch out! Sweetie, watch out! Crap! Sweetie, watch out! Sweetie, watch out! Sweetie. Oh fuck! Oh, watch out! Watch outside. <laughs> And just like dead? that, we back, boys. We back. <laughs> what, Fire, dude. He's, uh, what a swing. Okay, oh, hey. Okay. You can see there, guy. Look that head out. Bitch. <laughs> Come on, Joe. We're on a mission. He's trying to get his Let's go deeper. Uh, on the <laughs> Ash. Yeah. Ezreal yeah. with the Essence one's Reaver. French. Hey, one's for 82 and Dental. Sorry. Great. You know, so four we'll jungle camps going. remaining. <laughs> Turn these guys loose and go us. Two jungle If I had a VTuber model, they'd be shaking their heads left and right like that. Firing squad. I thought it was Luna's already. Webcam's she pretty much. Oh my oh, word. Man, she was the chosen one. Everybody's hands were no. cracked. Oh, oh heavens. <laughs> I could have thrown my gun. <laughs> Mid gunfight, not a single fucking one. <laughs> two of them are super weak before. If you breathe on them, you'll still make it a two. That's one of them. Bomb is mid. We got one here. Cat nice. Oh, wow. Two did weak I guys miss? are dead. These guys okay, are guys, cool. cat. Egg. Oof. Holy Dude, he has no clue. We didn't know. Oh. Why was that a clean with it? He's uh, outside for spawn. Fuck him. Oh, wait, I thought D4 was still alive. Oh, you're so good, dude. The dong, the dong. Oh, I love us. <laughs> Gee, that was awesome. That was insane, dude. That it. guy had no clue. You're oh, and he got the two on the river. Explain how to take a sight, Unlucky. That's not how you do it. You heard me. <laughs> All right. Dude, stick it. One and a half thousand gold lead right now. Get in there. Ardent sensor on Milio. Now, unlike in the other Milio game, the Filios, I do think it's a little bit better than the Ash because the Graves. I think Milio does have a little bit more value here. Dude, there's a soccer. There's four nothing. This is a impeccable. Also, the enemy team less incentivized to get magic resistance this game. Oh my. Oh my word. Can you play with Joel one time without asking fine. me about his cat size? Dr. I love Finn. Finn protected me from a spider when I was over. You do not love his cat size. That's true. And dude, I, just want, to, I want the best for him, bro. Goddamn way. Go house Megan. She's great. She's dressed well. Oh, don't having kids? Uh, we'd like to have one more, but uh, really? I, was, I, I was gonna ask him that. You could help me with that. I've been wearing tight pants. <laughs> What does that mean? Not anytime soon. <laughs> Get out, Cretan. I don't know. There's it's a late. big thing in my middle school. Last one. That's last time it's my last one. I can't make comments again. It's so short. Keep going, keep going. No four, no four, no four, no four, no four, no four. Oh my god! No! No! How does that happen? Banana, banana. One from their spawn. One from their spawn. Ah. Aim for me. Ah. No way. <laughs> right on site. That's that's yeah, why this game is actually time, rigged. Man, are you serious? Shoot through the wall, you get him. I'm getting the fuck out of here! Oh! 
<laughs> oh yeah, this guy has a point, Joel. Isn't Rhode Island the best? That's why they named the type of head after them. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know that, dude. Fun fact. Yeah. Is that really yeah, how it, that's how it, wow. That's probably how, yeah. That that's makes the most the sense. Name. Like Rhode Island was named first or the Roadhead was named first after it, I guess. Okay, Ro that makes sense. Rhode Island first and yeah, then that yeah. makes sense. Queen to off Sue, that's garbage. Well, as you guys saw from my last video, once again, it is 13F season. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the five most bought stocks by our 77 super investors in Q1 of 2023, as of course tracked by Data Roma. Now, before we get started right at the top of the video, I do just want to say that with videos like these, please remember that these five businesses are not stock recommendations. They don't create a shopping list for us as value investors. Remember, like I always say, this is just an ideas list for us to potentially explore further in our own time. But with that said, let's roll that list up. It was mine to win. Let's have a bit of a look at which stocks are still mine to win. Super investors fancy in Q1 of 2023. And we start with the fifth most bought stock by our super investors in Q1. It was Intuit. So overall, we saw seven super investors buy in during the quarter. So what do they do? Well, Intuit is a provider of financial management software to small and medium-sized businesses, but you'll probably recognize them more from the brands that they own. TurboTax, Credit Karma, QuickBooks, and MailChimp. They divide themselves up What's into four chimp? key revenue segments, although the business is really carried by two of them, that being small business and self-employed, which is QuickBooks and MailChimp, and consumer, which is TurboTax. So accounting software for small business and tax return help for consumers. And combined, these segments make up about 80% of their revenue and the bulk of their segment operating income too. So clearly the super investors see something in this space, but honestly, I'm not sure I quite understand the thesis because to me, it seems like the business faces more macroeconomic headwinds than tailwinds over the next few years. Rising interest rates will obviously hurt most parts of business, but particularly will hit their credit karma business. And if unemployment starts to rise, that will only hurt their turbo tax business. Even the IRS itself is currently reporting a declining number of filed tax returns year over year after they saw that huge pandemic surge of 10 million extra filed returns as the prior year tax returns were the determinant of the size of your stimulus check. So there are some headwinds the business definitely needs to overcome, but hey, maybe it's just ridiculously cheap. Well, no man's I land, I don't can he get, oh, oh. But on face value, it certainly doesn't look it. The stock is Six, down ten. since the end of 2021 when they completed the management Not good acquisition. Here but it does still sit around $415 per share, which gives it a PE ratio oh of about God. 60. So while it looked tasty for seven of our super investors, oh I God. personally That's can't say I'm convinced sure. straight off the bat. So please, if you guys have any more context on this business, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. But then moving- We have an ace. We're in the cutoff. Super investors in Q1, we arrive at a- I think we send right it. Now, it's okay, Drew 2 is up. Meta has obviously you know, come Yeah, we send it. Gonna be up soon. Across the past he has the teleport available. Spending so Drew 2, look, but I've been in his stream enough times. I know this is what he planned. Apple has reduced the okay. He planned for the karma to die as well. well. And then, to pull and back then on he foresaw Ezreal dying. Okay. okay. So he knew so just that like if Apple, Ezreal died too, too he would TP in. And the trap from Ari would land onto Seraphim. Drew would stay in the bush. And it's low in 2022. Okay. And it seems, at least in the recent times, there does actually seem to be Ash. some positive news. GG. That investors Drew can Drew. cheer I, I, about. In the most recent quarterly earnings, they posted their first year-over-year year sales sure. increase. Oh, in okay, quarters. it is whole breaker, Revenue was up 3% right? year-over-year. Year. Surely this is whole breaker, right? Costs did Phage rise quite plus, substantially as well, um, so overall operating income is still 50% lower year-over-year, year, leading to their operating margin point. I think that's Phage plus... 25% year-over-year. But their work limits have improved, and they did issue optimistic guidance for second quarter revenue. You know what I mean? Between 29 and a half and I don't know what the name of that item actually is. The interesting thing is, if you just take that lower figure, that would still represent 2% revenue growth year over year. So investors are going from extreme pessimism. I think that's what he's building. 
So now, Blue Drink also of now on as they Drew Two two consecutive quarters of year-over-year -year revenue growth. Three thousand gold. And as Peter Lynch says, you don't necessarily need to be in a stock that goes from good to great. BYS. You can just find those turnarounds that go from crappy to semi crappy and sure usually the institutional money will swing the stock back around. As so a very interesting time for Fountain. Meta. But usually this one is a feature in the most bought stocks right. by a super investor. So really the smart money are very confident in this business. Picks up Horizon Focus. So overall, that is Meta, and then coming in as Microsoft. Microsoft was bought by nine of our super investors in Q1, and there's no doubt and they've continued like to ride the wave of AI over the last few months. In fact, since ChatGPT's release in November item. of 2022, Microsoft stock is now up about 40%. Now, while it's true that OpenAI, you know, the people behind ChatGPT are not owned by Microsoft, Microsoft is a significant shareholder in that business. Originally, Microsoft signed a $1 billion deal with OpenAI back in 2019, becoming OpenAI's exclusive technology partner. And then earlier in this year, they extended that partnership right, with a further $10 billion up, investment, oh, which prompted OpenAI oh, co-founder oh. Elon Musk to practically oh, the oh, OpenAI is effectively massive. controlled by Microsoft at this point. Oh, and while the success of ChatGPT hasn't meaningfully oh, the impacted Microsoft's financial results, then the market is already jumping on board as well, and pricing and it the future looks like of AI into Microsoft's stock. And interestingly, these developments have also prompted Bill Gates to get back into the stock, you know holding what? it for no, his foundation. Go it's to now the his biggest position no, in his portfolio, and a little bit of extra value. When I was talking to Monish Gabrai, Monish had actually just sat down with Bill Gates, and he said he thinks Microsoft had an unstoppable lead in AI. So it's a very interesting anecdote, but of course, nothing that we as value investors should necessarily be reading too much into. What we should be more focused on, of course, is their core business. Because no, obviously, Ezra, Ezra, Karma, and, and Fiora, they should have just gone to the dragon. And with these four oh, pieces of software, of usually you can find some pretty powerful switching modes from Windows to Office oh, 365 man. to Azure, Xbox's Game Pass, LinkedIn, OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, and so on. It's these pieces of software that lock customers into giving Microsoft cash quarter after quarter. And while right. AI now is coming the off of thing, Baron, I'm sure that for the super investors, it was likely the strength of First their core business item, that made them um, want to buy is the Ash Okay, and with that said, now we move on to the second most bought stock, which was Amazon. So Amazon was bought by Rate Play. Um, right, and if I show you a picture of their stock know. chart, I think you'll understand why. Um, and then Over the last six months or so, the stock has basically been reset to 2020 levels due to their business suffering at the hands of the macroeconomic environment. See, over the last few years, Amazon has really focused on expanding capacity to increase their revenue and their profitability. But of course, with this inflation we've seen, right now their costs are rising. Yeah, I mean, I guess Warren having salary is fine. Operating expenses are rising. And ultimately, Amazon earnings are suffering. However, many value investors are betting that while they're going through some short-term pain at the moment, this Play period there of investment will ultimately set them up for long-term gain, this as this is a trend we've seen for decades where they, they just blow up and and the only way. To use Amazon as an example of exceptional You could have played that, that, but I really didn't, didn't want to. David, the Amazon will not stop investing Enemy, into growing I mean, companies. As you can see, while Alibaba is still in the early position, Tencent and Amazon also, are the only two investors that are taking their money plus some and putting it back into growth. King 5 offsuit. Now, businesses don't just do this willy-nilly, so it's people like this really shows you the companies that genuinely believe that they have something worth investing in. So that's the story with Amazon. And now finally we get to our most bought stock in Q1 of 2023, and it is Google. Now, Google usually features around the number one or two or three spot in this list each quarter, and it's really not hard to see why, despite advertisers pulling back on marketing budgets over the past year. So Google has been able to hold revenue fairly steady. And they're with down the two and a half thousand gold. The plus problem the is that the cushion that is their balance sheet. For I think the super investors minute, are seeing that this is a money printing more business that even during a recession doesn't even really go back. Do they obviously have a very strong moat in the oh, oh, That actually protects them okay. better yeah, than a company like Meta, as no device manufacturer. The really surprising thing is that Cloud Dragon is still up and no one is going to a company like Meta that is reliant on devices. Pretty much everyone uses Google, and there isn't even a close set. Dang it! Very strong position. I can't get him to bet this board, then. Uh, okay, Milio is... Okay, Milio R's, but... Okay, Milio R's, but... Okay, we're just missing everything. Despite it's fine. All that's been happening in terms of the economy. They do end up And then on top of that, you also have a company that has 115 uh, billion in cash for short-term market security, and only 108 billion in total liabilities. So that, plus their moat, plus their profitability, plus the fact that business traded around right. $90 per share in Q1, is most likely the combination of factors that had so many... <laughs> I lucked out so hard. Oh now, my so word. They are Ball the breaker. top five buys from the super investors in Q1 of 2023. Let very me know what you nice, think, and nice. let me know if any of these businesses actually feature in your portfolios. I would love to hear any further opinions on these stocks down in the comment section. My below. check probably because induced the bet, though. Video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.
Guys, welcome back to another episode of Duel Night 5Ds. Before we dive into the shining darkness, a huge shout out to all our Patreon members. Without your generous contribution and support, Duel Night would not be where it's at today. Thank you guys so much for making Duel Night what it is, the animations, the spectacular editing. I know you guys have been loving the edits and the animations and everything lately, so man, it is because of you guys. You guys help provide Duel Night with the funds to be able to create this type of crazy content. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support. And you guys will get early access to all Duna episodes. Watch the Ultimate Losers match, Duna Extras, best two out of three finals, and so much more. We got a bunch of extra content that you guys can watch when it comes to enjoying Duna on the Patreon in the link down below. So guys, what are you waiting for? Join the Patreon today in the link down below. And thank you guys so much for supporting the show. All right, roll the 5Ds intro. Um, I don't understand the fast phone water. Uh, apps has AP ratio on R. Welcome ratio to Duel Night. Um, uh, and then I guess Milio This is the brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and do it to the fast phone water level. It goes like this. We set for every episode to be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Any, any of the other, Each duel is up to a 40 card deck using their draft cards. Okay. Okay. Dueling one another Mahari. in a best of one. But the winners of each duel will proceed to the final. People just don't like the 2.25? The cards continuously build as each set progresses. Adding the best cards from previous sets to just one. As the four of us will now I'm gonna get raised. Who can become master of duel? All right, guys, we're diving straight into the shining darkness. Blackwing Dragon set. Shock! Roll the intro! For centuries, the Frog Country, the Ancient Sanctuary, and the XX Saber Commonwealth have stood in opposition, with frequent errors of war and strife, never able to overcome their differences. Okay. But gradually, a new existential threat made its ominous presence known. Days shortened, and the shadows cast by objects grew in size. The three states could no longer ignore these anomalies, and a summit was called to decide a course of action. The leaders, Substitoad, Archlord Christia, and Gottens, deliberated until from the shadows the shining darkness lashed out with a booming declaration. Infernity Wish it was dying Dragon when was proclaimed that the world would belong to him. It would soon be engulfed in the void, just as many conquered worlds had been before. Those who submit could live in certitude within the infernal landscape. Those who did not would be broken. A moment of reprieve for the three rivals allowed for retreat, and with rapid speed a combined military assembly, preparing for the onslaught. And on the darkest of nights, with moonlight barely visible, the Infernity Army launched from the shadows. Archfiend attacked XX Saber Dark Soul with immense force. Treeborn Frog raised a froggy force field to reflect the attack and smite the grotesque demon. Infernity Avengers summoned a swarm of beetles to ravage the frontline fairy forces. To guard the heralds, Fault that, that, Roll that, that performed the X Saber Slash. When it hits, Infernity Necromancer conjured a barrier to negate the Slash, and the Insect Assault dismantled the Defenders. The Infernity Onslaught would not relent. A wretched dragon opened a hundred eyes that coated its body, each with a menacing glare. With an inbound final blow, the Allied forces initiated their ultimate attack. It's so loose. Frog, yeah, I can't call that. Frog, and a Ronin began to oh, harmonize, aces. But they needed time. All right, so let's uh, invoke the saber hole to create a perimeter fun. around the amphibians. But the Infernity still had one trick left. A plethora of mirages began populating the battlefield okay. to misdirect the offensive. The Herald of Perfection continued pressure, and with a sacrifice, the Heralds performed a ritual okay. to stop the Mirage. With the stage set, the Descroaking blasted the Infernal Forces into submission. 
securing One, safety CR. for the oh, world. A level With of that strength that has is... never been seen before and will be in the, the hands of duelists well for the first time. Which player can wield it to achieve victory? Find out on this episode of Duel Night. Maybe I'm getting taken for a ride, but I gotta play my ace. Have the Ezreal, the Karma, and the Gragas endlessly defuse wave. Do I re-raise? Does he have a straight? Am I the straight? Yeah, he had the straight. Oh, he got two pair. You know, Ashars and stuff. You have the feeling to do the foot push management over and over. And I mean, this is, this, is the, this is the way to win. Hey guys, Emilio, welcome back to Dual Knight for the Shining Darkness. I don't love this position. I started playing Yu Gi Oh! Someone who had the lead and decided that getting a bit of power creep because with some more modern combos has to be a little bit more than a little bit more than What's going on, guys? It's your boy Disc Decoder. I'm feeling cheeky. There's a million fools like Wait, he is insanely big blinded. Yeah, fuck. Ah! Guys, I. I, I need to make. I, I need to work like, a better like, spot. Yeah, oh, there he is again. <laughs> He's gonna fucking so go for me again. Pussy. Thanks, Sam, for inviting me, and I can't wait to uh, show you guys. Oh, this is a good spot. Guys, it's so great to be back on Dura every other week. You know what I'm saying? Today we got a content creator clash well, actually, special. I think I'm gonna order food today. And this draft looks good. Nightfall on the Orn is guys. Right now, that four Dura victory. It's time to get a fifth. And you can see they're all actually today we have a that's good content creator special Aaron's we got in two minutes Here's the Ornar. we got jesse we got oh, this encoder guys it's gonna be a crazy episode jesse for his life yeah, he gets away he gets away the shining man. darkness oh my lord uh, it was a pretty crazy this time in video with probably some this of the strongest is the decks game in this, this is Talking the cat and mouse this was fiora almost ftk like oh my Last lord FTK, FTK. We are we'll bigger go home and rip world and right now. we also had a lot of anti-meta stuff and this is the dynamic of this two team composition now this becomes really scary when baron decks. is getting on the map all right guys it's gonna be a really fun competitive episode you guys ready kevin very very dangerous there's no burn so i don't know what to do but it's like i'll figure it out okay figure it out oh you bro welcome back he re-raised me <laughs> Alright guys, without further ado, let the draft begin! begin. Yep. Yeah, why are cards upside down, bro? We're pushing it. Yo, this is actually see darker than Yo, this is hard. Yo, this is very, 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 so basically, I bought this Thunder King. And this is the way that you have was, to play this. Uh, this is a oh my god, how do I play this? Great 10, actually, from a guy. By and, Drew and it's not every. And I, I mean, actually, I, I can't remember the last time in competitive that we we saw legitimate. <laughs> that this. Um, it is being scanned. Right I got scanned. Here. I got scanned. Now, I will say that his I teammates had it since I was have not the done first. the best of Thunder jobs at outplayed. helping him. I got outplayed. Um, <laughs> in, in this game. But now the barrel. I don't know. I want. Uh, I didn't want to go too big to scare him off, and it's more of a blocker bet, but. All right, guys. So we just finished drafting after one intense hour. Pac, how's how's your deck? I feel I feel good what, 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 what? that I'm gonna be not out by round one. <laughs> really? Your deck is nice. I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. Yes, yeah, but you. It was super intense. I feel like we all hate drafting each other, and I'm very very curious what the hell people drafted because yeah, I I generally feel I like think no it's gonna be a mishmash of everything. Yeah, no one's one. playing like archetypes. People are just like I'm playing forty good cards, and that's it. And it's crazy. It's, it's gonna be a great episode under here. Is two X Sabers right Hyundai now? and two um, Infinity Arch Fiends yep. to Pain represent that? the Shining Darkness. Are you guys ready? No, the Arch Fiend didn't come in this set, right? Really? What, what, what did it come in? It was like a video game promo. Yeah. Oh no, but like this set to introduce uh, Infinity, right? Or, no, right? All right, guys, let's get rolling. One, two, I don't three. Know if that's gonna be a Guardian Angel. Yeah, I assume it is. Like, now matter. here's the problem: the Baron's up. No! Oh, shit! On the bottom side. <laughs> let's go, Jesse. And Let's wrap it up! Positioning. Ash, Seraphine, and Milio. They I'm are Jack are 9 is not bad, and but I'm so probably not ahead in this spot. Can't handle oh, Fiora by I'm himself. Like a champion, Orn needs assistance. Oh, Bluetooth might have just messed up. Let's take a look. 
playing against Jesse, I mean, to be honest, I know that I'm not the most experienced player in the room. Oh, I mean, out of charm, all the people here, everyone's got a bunch of YCS tops and stuff like that, and I got but a big old zero, but really, I had to get paired death. against the guy who has the most. It's fine. I can take him. I can beat him. Uh, it's dual light after all. And it's now, it was not a one for one. I'm playing Yura Kevin, does just in get, coder. I've uh, only ever played him Guardian in like, Angel, this fun, they, weird, they not actually Yu Gi Oh type format. So I'm curious to see how it goes. Over from the draft, I want to protect my sevens. Oh, that was a little sad. Either way, I don't know if anybody else is a That is, I mean, they they lose Cloud Soul, and Cloud Soul is actually really valuable with responding to Fiora, just because of the increased movement speed. Look at this. I feel like I'm Gage at this point. Oh my god. Putting up good I'm still ahead of anything but a jack. But I feel like this is uh, a deck that Phantom I feel like would be pretty well good. On the, the first app, five cards that I drafted were um, Dark Arm Dragon and a bunch of boss monsters. In, in hindsight, hindsight, I, I mean, probably okay. should have gone like. I should cool a bit. I just picked like, you know, amazing boss end. monsters and I, think uh, I got a bunch goal. of like really good recruiters and just tomato and I feel like Nash should make the strategy work. I picked a bunch of traps such as Beast Blue Glass and then we're going to have Brutu TP. Okay, yeah, this is it. This is the play. Dandy. They're trying uh, to separate the minions. So now uh, it's about stopping the There's players. no way they're both oh, playing for a. Just because I feel like they're generic. They they're playing for a straight draw, right? Definitely blundered. They're on the Nexus. That is it. Wait, I want to stay. I want to see it. They have five. I I don't even. What is? Okay, so the draft is done, and here is my deck. It is Infernity. Now, I think you're going to see this with everybody's decks, but it feels like people are missing a lot of cards. Because I don't think anybody knew you know what? Actually, it. poker is hella boring. For example, I'm missing an Arch Fiend and two barriers. However, I feel like I got enough of everything else to compensate. I also got two of the DD Crows, meaning it's not likely to be used against me. And then I also got some power cards like Judgment, Torrential, Mind Control, Brain Control, and Giant Trunade. That'll be fantastic. Uh, also, if he traps them, it's going to make it hard for my opponent to combo here? against Go, me. Wake up. Now, he used it to turn Go. off stuff like my own depression. And yeah, and then Inferno, it's, it's gameplay. It's going to be simple oh, like an OTK. You can search a bunch of traps, barrier, turn me break. So yeah, combo time. I think he's just pressing a button. So I used to, I used to, so when, when Joe used to live at my house, when he would do production things. All right, guys, we just finished the draft. I think I had the best deck in the entire uh, room. I think I'm winning have a in today's episode. Absolutely. Here's my deck list. <laughs> I am playing X Sabers. This deck is probably one of the best decks in the okay. entire draft. So no one that really was for game number two between to uh, go for Zay and DYF. Honestly, best card to my deck for sure is Rescue Cat. Uh, and it's one of the first five cards I drafted because it's like so powerful with Dark Soul and like Air Bellum, just like it's insane. X Saber is ridiculous. God of Emergency Call as well. Be able to just call the Haunted Mac X Saber monster to the grave to combo up heavy um, is absolutely ridiculous. 